Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have got my second Discoveries and Declutters video. If you're new to my channel and you don't know what Discoveries and Declutters is, very quickly I am doing makeup rehab for the second year running. Last year I tried project panning, realised it really wasn't for me and that I needed to rotate through my collection a little bit more. And also because I wasn't using my collection, I couldn't really declutter things. I've got a lot of issues with decluttering, I'm going to talk about that more in a separate video. But basically the premise of discoveries and declutters is that each month when I use a product from um, my storage behind me here, a colour product that's generally like a lip and eye or a cheek product, I am putting it to one side and then at the end of the month reviewing everything that I've used, talking you guys through it, talk about what I liked, whether, it's, whether that's like a certain product or just like a certain kind of technique or whatever it is, whatever my kind of discoveries of the month are. Um, and then if there's anything that I've used this month and thought, actually, do you know what, it's time to say goodbye, then I'm decluttering it. So that's what the premise of this video is and let's get into the products that I used in April. Okay, so here is everything that I had on my face in the month of April. So the first thing I just want to talk about, this is obviously from Kat Von D. Obviously I'm not going to encourage anyone to purchase from Kat Von D, but I do absolutely love this palette. This is the Saint and Sinner palette and I actually did a look that I really really loved using this lime green and this orange. If you guys can see them there. I really like Kat Von D products which just makes the whole situation even more annoying but I'm not going to declutter or not use what I've got. This had a really fatal accident. I got caught in a corner as you can see. Still not okay with it because I think this might genuinely be like my favourite shade actually in the palette. It's like a really beautiful sort of dual chrome. So yeah I love this palette. I'm not going to just declutter my Kat Von D products but yeah, I won't be purchasing any more, so I'm not encouraging anyone to purchase them, but I did use this palette this month, and um, I absolutely love it, so if you've got it, definitely one to make sure you pull back out and use again. Another palette that I used this month, the original Lorac Pro. This is a palette I definitely need to give more love to. I was so excited to buy this palette, and then I just don't actually use it very much. Shadows in this are really good quality. I really like the colours, particularly this Garnet shade. It's just very very pretty um, and these base shades are really really good as well so there's really not a kind of dud shade in there. I will be keeping this and if you've got it I would definitely give it some love because I don't think it's been spoken about for quite a while. It was huge when it first came out but barely been mentioned of recent. Another palette that I used is the original Narcissist palette. It is a bit older and um, there's just not great colour payoff from it anymore so I think I'm going to declutter this. I really like this shade Bali. I say I really like this shade. The deal with this shade is that it was used um, by Emma Stone's makeup artist in her Oscars look for what must have been 2017 because it would have been before I started my spending ban and I bought all the products that she mentioned using because I loved the look. Um, so part of me really doesn't want to give up this shade, but I have duped it through my collection and um, it matches Delete by Urban Decay. Not exactly, but enough that when it's on the eyes as a transition colour, like it's absolutely fine. So despite that I don't want to lose this one shade because it has that thing of being like that was the exact shade used in the makeup look, I am just going to say goodbye to this palette. That is my first declutter for the month of April. This actually was a contender for being decluttered. I actually specifically used this because I thought I might declutter it. It's from Illamasqua. It's the shade Wicked and it's a kind of pastel-y lilac colour, which I don't really use a lot of pastels. That's what it looks like. But I actually ended up using it with this from Stila. It's one of the Shimmer and Glow shadows. This is in the shade Into the Blue. Absolutely adore. You guys see how pretty that is. It's got kind of pinky sort of purpley blue. Iridate. It's like mainly blue but it's got those sort of pinky purpley tones so I used Wicked with that. Um, and I did like it so I'm going to hold, I'm definitely holding on to this because I love this. And I'm going to hold on to this for now. So I actually really, really liked the look that Lily Collins had on for the Met Gala this year, which was the the lilac eye with the kind of 60s, like, over-the-top lashes and liners. So I'm also going to try and recreate that, and I think that shade could be 
um, a kind of base shade for doing that with. I have been making an effort to try and use more of my sort of liquid and cream products. I think I said this in a video recently, like the way that my storage has been, like I've had primer, corrector, foundation, concealers and then powders and I do it in that order and then I've powdered and if I've got like liquid highlighters or blushes I'm really not using them because I've been powdering first so I've been trying to make more of an effort to kind of remember to use these things and this is an elf liquid blush in the shade superstar I bought I think there was only five shades of these and I bought all five these are so super pigmented that would basically paint my entire face take a little bit and then blend it out but these are just so pretty and um, you can kind of you know you can go in dangling dangerously build them up you do need to be careful because they are super pigmented but they last a really long time i really really like these i'm glad i've got them but definitely it's been a good thing about this project because it's making me use things that would have just sat being owned and being lovely and being things i didn't want to part with but wasn't making an effort to use so yeah i'm glad that i'm doing this and that i use this and remembered how much i like these so another sort of creamy product i've used is this from number seven their pop and glow cream blush Um, i have absolutely no idea what the shade is i cannot see it anywhere very pretty very neutral so that was definitely a discovery for me this month i also used this which is from benefits the fine one one i don't know if they actually make this anymore or not it's like a three in one and the idea is you sort of press it on your cheek and like move up with it and you get this kind of nice stripe and your highlighter which if you then kind of blend it does blend into this quite pretty sort of neutral shade i do enjoy that and i'm going to hold on to it for now generally like cream blushes i think were one of my main discoveries of this month was making an effort to use them and this is the steely convertible color this is the shade gladiola it's quite a nice sort of peachy orangey tone so it's like more pigmented than the benefit one and it's more kind of orangey so oh, to go with that Kat Von D eye look that I did with the lime green eyeshadow and the orange in the crease I used this from the MAC Toledo collaboration which is just like a lime green eyeliner which I absolutely loved it was such a fun makeup look and yeah i would definitely if you've got these kind of colors like dig them out they're not ones that i would think to use but i really really enjoyed um what i created with them and this was another with that look that i did with the stila and della mask eyeshadows i used this which is from urban decay and it's their eyeliner in the shade vice which looks like that and i really really enjoyed that i actually used that in my waterline i just used that um, around my eyes I used this in my waterline with that eye look and it really reminded me just like how nice eyeliner in the waterline can be because for so long I haven't been using anything in my waterline and this really was like oh I remember when you used to like doing that so that's been another discovery for me this month has been rediscovering waterline eyeliner this duo has been one of my favourite discoveries this month as well. This is the NARS Audacious Lipstick in the shade Jane, which is a really sort of pretty sort of terracotta. I remember when I bought this, and it must have been before I was really into those sort of terracotta shades, um, and I got it with the MAC Lip Pencil in etc. because a beauty YouTuber that I watched really enjoyed it. It looked really good in heart, and I just remember feeling like it made my teeth really yellow, but I think it was actually the lip liner more so than this on its own. So I stopped using it for ages after I bought it, and then I used it this month and just was like, I absolutely adore this colour. Like, I can't believe I haven't been using it. And then I was using that with this from Kevin Kwan, which is their flesh tone lip pencil in the shade medium so yeah that's been a main discovery for me particularly the lipstick I just think it's absolutely beautiful I have said a few times that I feel like this audacious formula is really a little bit too wet and too creamy for my tastes but I've had this for a really long time now um, and it's definitely dried up a little bit since just given the age of it so it's not too dry to use and I actually prefer it slightly dried up so yeah, Nars Audacious and Jane has been another major discovery for me this month. Definitely one of my favourites. Another couple of cheap products. This little set from Benefit. I've used all three of these this month, which is Dallas, which is one of my favourites. I absolutely love Dallas. Dandelion, which is really pretty and just quite kind of... Can you even see that? Like very kind of pink, very pretty. And then Coralista. So yeah, I've used all three of them. I really, really enjoy it. I think Benefit blushes are generally very very good i think benefit are one of those brands that like 
Lauren and I were saying like you wouldn't go to them for certain things but what they do well they do really well and I think their blush products are just some of the best. I used this which is the Sleep Blush and I actually thought I would be decluttering this if I'm totally honest but I did really like it. This is the Sleep Blush in Rose Gold which is the one that's supposed to be the dupe for NARS Orgasm. Very pretty, it is definitely like really shimmery so I have to be kind of in the mood for that but I do think it's super super pretty so I am actually going to hold on to it especially because I actually don't have orgasm anymore because I decluttered my NARS blush palette in my last Discoveries and Declutters video so that's now my only kind of rose goldy orgasm-esque shade. This is one of my absolute favourite makeup products ever, it's the Marc Jacobs blush, this is in the shade Flesh and Fantasy and it's just a kind of nothingy blush. I really like these blushes in general, I would like to collect more of them um, but again you get sort of three in one because you've got you know the kind of either end which in this one is kind of like almost a sort of bronze and a highlighter combo and then you can mix them up. This one is one of those ones that doesn't swatch particularly well but it is very very nice on the face. I would highly highly recommend checking this out if you don't own it already and if you do own it definitely dig it back out. It's such a beautiful product. I used this NARS blush a few times this month in the shade Gulu. Um, I might not be pronouncing that right at all but it was the Savora VIB welcome gift I want to say in 2017 so that's what that looks like. Quite a kind of deep sort of almost sort of purpley pink so I had that in my makeup basket at work and was using it quite a lot this month. I've got a Dior eyeshadow and this is another one that I've actually noticed a change in the formula um, probably because of age. This is really really pretty but these used to be quite wet and almost spongy and I would say this is really quite dried up now and this is in the shade Reflection. Pick a space. So that's what that looks like. As you can see, it's still got really good pigment and everything. It doesn't, um, you know, the performance hasn't been affected. So I will continue to use it um, and will obviously be holding on to it for now. But yeah, definitely kind of a sign of that of a product changing over time, which I've always thought about expiry dates. But I would say this year in particular, I've had a few products that I'm like, oh like that expiry date isn't just an idea it's like it actually does happen so yeah keeping this just now another blush product this is from mac and this is in the shade full fuchsia which i really really like it's a really kind of fun bright pink so yeah one to be used with a light hand but an absolutely beautiful blush that i will definitely be holding on to i used my eyeshadow from shantikai which was limited edition you can't get it anymore so i won't talk too much about it but it's really pretty definitely one i want to hold on to gold with a sort of pinky iridescent shift in it which is just super pretty definitely one that i'm keeping i used this from chanel which i absolutely love it's a beautiful um kind of white gold eyeliner it's actually broken <laughs> oh god i think i just threw a bit of it away yeah, I did. So I've been kind of avoiding using it because it's been broken, but yeah, that bit's fully landed on the floor, so that's going to go in the bin. Just swatch it there for you. So I really, really like this. I feel like a lot of gold eyeliners are very, like, kind of warm gold. I feel like this really is very kind of white gold. I really like it. I would really like a dupe of it because I'd say that bit's broken and I've just dropped a bit in the floor that will now have to go in the bin. So yeah, I'm going to try and use what's there, but I would like... I would like a replacement for this. Another eyeliner that I've used that I really like from Marc Jacobs, this is the brown one, the shade Earthquake, which I really do like Marc Jacobs eyeliners actually. I've got one full size one and I've got the um, another mini of the black, I think I got them in a little set that was like the black and the brown um, together, but that's the brown, so it's a really dark, um, kind of deep intense brown, but I absolutely love it. They hang around for ages, they do not budge once they're on. I would definitely purchase um, the full size. I have to say in general like Marc Jacobs everything I've had from the line I've loved them all. Really have not had a disappointing product from Marc Jacobs so far so definitely if you're looking for like kind of reliable good makeup Marc Jacobs is a brand I would definitely definitely recommend. And another eyeliner. This one is from The Body Shop. This is super old so they've probably changed this packaging but it's just The Body Shop's brown liquid liner. So that's what it looks like. It's got a bit more kind of richness and sort of brownness to it than the the Marc Jacobs. Like I find this really easy to control. 
as I say this packaging has probably changed so whether it's still like that or not I don't know. I really really rate this if they do still make it and it still looks the same definitely check it out. I do not imagine it looks the same. I have had this for far too long. Two lip liners that I've used and liked this month Rimmel the shade Spice and MAC the shade Sore. So that is what Spice by Rimmel looks like and then Sore by MAC. It's definitely very kind of similar similar shades really when you look at them but I've enjoyed both so I'm going to keep both. And then my three lip products to finish up with. So I used this in my last Discoveries and Declutters and said I wanted to use it again to kind of assess it and I have decided to keep it actually because I did really like it. And it's from Tarte and it is in the shade Birthday Suit. So this is the one that was in the Sephora Birthday Gift. Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade Catherine and then while I'm waiting on that drying down this is the Bourgeois in the shade number 14 Plum Plum Girl. should have done these first actually because you need to kind of let these set and then done the lip liners. So those are the swatches that's Tarte Birthday Suit, ABH Catherine and Bourgeois Plum Plum Girl. That is my last round of swatches that is everything that I've had on my face in April so I'm keeping most of it decluttering this. This has all been quite positive and yeah I feel good about kind of finally admitting that it's time to say goodbye to this so yeah I feel like it's progress. Okay so three products that I just want to talk about a little bit more. First up obviously the thing I'm decluttering my NARS Narcissus palette. I do have like a lot of guilt around decluttering things particularly because nothing I own is new. I went on my spending ban at the start of 2018. The likes of this palette like I could look up when this palette came out um, but I've had it for a very 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 long time um, so it's definitely expired. I kind of feel like if I'm keeping expired makeup that's my choice but I'm not going to pass that on to someone else. Generally what I've been doing, um, a friend of my grand's actually, his daughter has one of those makeup head things. I've been giving stuff to her and that way I feel like it's getting used but it's not getting put on somebody's face. But obviously there's really only so much I'm going to be able to give to her. So I have, I have quite a lot of guilt around the decluttering thing which is why I know some people declutter loans but I can't bring myself to get rid of things that I think I might use because I can really only pass so much on to Ella and the rest of it's going to go to landfill and I have a lot of issues with that I'm not going to lie to you so if I think there's like the slightest chance that I might use something I feel compelled to keep a hold of it so I, I do struggle with the decluttering side of things but this palette really just doesn't perform I don't think it was ever that great to start with if I'm 100% honest because I spoke to Lauren about this palette weirdly recently and she got rid of hers ages ago and I don't think it's ever been a great palette so I'm passing that on that's my decluttered product I wasn't using it it was wasting space in my collection and yeah it can get passed on and somebody can get some kind of joy out of it. The other two products that I wanted to talk about are my Dior Eyeshadow and my NARS Audacious Lipstick in the shade Jane. Dior Eyeshadow is in the shade Reflection. These are both really lovely products that I'm not um, going to be decluttering obviously but as I said both of these have slightly changed formula wise which obviously means time is having an impact on them. Now time is obviously having an impact on all of my products like every minute that passes is time that is impacting on them but the fact I can actually feel like a proper change in the formulas of these although they're still um, performing as products obviously if those changes have started to happen they're going to progressively happen more to the point that in both of these it's kind of that they're slightly dried up they're both going to dry up to a point where they can't be used so I am going to put these into this basket here um, which lives in my dressing table and it's products that I have used so basically at the end of the year um, anything that's still in here will be something that I have in theory not used within a year. I'm hoping that gives me the sort of motivation to do a big declutter at the end of the year um, but the products that are in this basket are things that I have used um, so they're not up for being decluttered on the basis of not being used at the end of the year um, but that I want to get some more use out of either when it's something like naked palette which I did in my last video I said I'm kind of no I'm on the fence about it I want to use it some more before I make a decision I think I'm actually making the decision of that I want to keep it because it's really lovely as I've actually found out since using it and that's really good because it, I wasn't using it because I, I just wasn't using it at all before that so I'm glad that it's in this basket and guessing a bit of use I'm putting the lipstick and the eyeshadow into this basket to get 
some more use out of it hopefully before the formula turns even further and it maybe potentially does reach a point of being unusable. So those are the three products that are not just going into storage until I'm finished with this whole experiment thing that I'm doing this year. I hope this has been interesting, enjoyable. Thank you very much for watching and I will speak to you in my next video. Bye!